Hi there, I'm Bree, and today I'm going to show you how you can help keep your child safe on Roblox. Safety is so important, especially internet safety, especially for children. So today I'm going to show you what you can do to help protect your child and let them play safely on Roblox. So what you're going to do is go over here to the upper right corner and click on this little gear. This is where you would access the settings. So you can go ahead and click on settings. And right here will show you all of the information. What you are going to want to do first is click add parents email. And I just created a fake email for the sake of this video. So type in your email. Now go ahead and verify that email. Click on it here and you will see it will have all the information here and it will also give you a guide. Um, there's this link that's specifically for parents from Roblox directly and this is where you can get some further information. Uh, but what you are going to do is just click I agree and verify the email and it gives you this free little item. So go back over to the settings and then what you are going to be able to do is click on security. And if you want to enable two-step verification, this will just mean that instead of just being able to simply sign into their account, there is going to need to be another step to verify that it is them. Um, if you want to do that, you can, but you do not have to. This is where you would do that. So you would just click this and enter in the password of the account and all of the information. Next, what you're going to do is go down to privacy. And so there's account restrictions. So account restrictions will essentially just make it so that all of your communication is turned off. So your child won't be able to talk to anybody in game or online at all. Um, they will still be able to play games, but it's only games that are suitable for all ages. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and click it right here and it will automatically save. And as you can see, nobody will be able to message your kid anywhere. But if you want them to at least still be able to talk to friends in game because that will limit them with the ability to chat with friends. Um, but what you can do is go down here. So communication, we can put it to default or we can put it to custom. Um, the default settings are pretty good, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put mine to custom and who can message me? You can have it as no one or you can have it as friends. So messaging takes place on the Roblox app itself. Um, messaging is not an in-game thing. That is just on here. So that would be like private messaging. Um, who can text chat with me in app. That is going to be what this is here, this little chat box. If you have, if your child has a friend that they want to play with, they will be able to click on them here and chat that way. So if they're trying to play a game together and they want to figure out what game to play, this is how they would chat and communicate with each other on the website to do that. So if you, again, if you don't want anybody to be able to do that, you can click no one or you can click friends. Next, what you can do is put who can text chat with me. So text chat with me in general is text chat in games. So if your child has a friend and they want to chat in game, this is how they would be able to do that. You have to have either everyone or no one selected. I think everyone is fine if you are comfortable with that. If they are too young to be communicating with anybody, you can have this set to no one at all whatsoever. I would then advise doing the account restriction enabled setting. If you want to deactivate the account, you would come down here and click deactivate and then you the profile will be gone and overall um, hidden and you won't be able to use Roblox. All right, next what you can do is go over to parental controls and you can go to parent pin. So parent pin essentially adds a step of verification before any settings can be customized. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on this. In order to do this, you have to have a verified email. Um, so verify an email first and then set this up. So you can now create a four digit pin. Make sure that you know what it is and that you don't forget it. Keep that to yourself and then you have to enter the password of the account. All right, and it says your pin is now set. You will need to enter this pin before accessing the settings page in the future. Let's say that we want to change the allowed experience. So if your child is nine, at least you can click on this. I would say any age that is under nine, keep it at all ages, but once they're nine, I think it's totally fine to click this nine plus button. But as you can see, you have to enter in the pin first. 
in order to do this. So when the parent pin is enabled and if you have just entered the pin, it will have a timer up here in the upper right corner for being able to customize everything until you have to enter in the pin again. So before giving it back to your child, either let it time out or you can just go ahead and click this lock button here and now it is locked again. So if you try to change something, you will have to enter in the pin in order to customize it. Let's say we wanted to do that and it will give you a five minute timer lock it before giving it back to your child otherwise they will be able to change the settings as they wish so right now we have it set to nine plus because the fictional child on this account is 10. this means that they will only be able to play games where um the age is set to nine plus so it will definitely be safe and those are some simple ways that you are able to protect your child and let them also have fun on roblox i hope this video was helpful and i'll see you next time Bye!